What's the deal y'all? ZD5 Jew back with another video. In this video, I don't have the engine, so I don't wanna get your hopes up, but I promise in the next video, I will be revealing the engine. I've had you guys wait long enough, and a few of you know, but yes, I don't have the engine in this video, but still stick around because there's a lot of good information in this video. I wanted to go ahead and list all of the stuff that I have for sale. That's gonna be anything and everything, so pay close attention, and if you are interested in any of this stuff, again, please DM me on Instagram with my Instagram right here or leave a comment down below and I will reach out to you via Instagram, whatever it is. As you can see, this stuff is going super fast. Don't hold off. If you're interested in something, make sure you hit me up. But with that being said, the first thing that I am getting rid of as far as on the Z, I will not be keeping the Tomei. So this Tomei is extended. I don't have it in an extension, but it is actually extended. I got a shop about, a, about two or three years ago now, and they welded on a certain part of the exhaust and they extended it for me. So when I take it off, I'll give you a better look at what it actually looks like. But just know that the Tomei is extended. This is a 350Z Tomei, so it sits up super high. This is the one that everybody wants. I'm gonna try to see if I can get under here, show you guys what it looks like yeah you guys can't really see but again when i take it off you'll get a better idea but that is for sale i am selling the tomei for 800 so all the prices should be on the screen 800 dollars for the full tomei and then also a fun fact about my tomei the tomei comes in three pieces it comes with the muffler which is this part right here it comes with the middle piece that doesn't do anything, and then it also comes with the resonator. My Tomei, when I bought it from the guy, he actually shipped it to me without the resonator. So I have just a straight piece right there. So technically speaking, my Tomei is a little bit louder than what a normal one would be. It actually still sounds really good. It's not raspy at all. I mean, you guys have heard my car turbo, and I'm sure not turbo as well. So it sounds really good, but this is a really good exhaust. You know, it's a Tomei exhaust, it's extended. All the work is done for you, it's a 350 exhaust. Exhaust. It'll sit up high for your 370s, your G37s, G35s, whatever it is. $800 for that. Please get in contact with me. Next couple of things that's going to be for sale. I have an Ecutech, I guess you would call it like a plug-in. So this is not the full tune and I'll show you what I mean right here. So all this is, this is actually just the dongle. You would basically plug this in onto your OBD2 reader in your car, you know, your G37, your 370Z. Once you do get the software, you'll be able to read uh, your car, you know, AFRs, boost, any of that stuff. You'll be able to manage all of that stuff through here. Again, this is not the license. You still will need to buy the license, but this is also separate. Don't think that I'm trying to rip you off or anything like that. When you go to Ecutech, you will see this separate. It does not come in the license. I'm going to sell this for what I bought it for. I bought it for $200. So again, DM me. I don't need this anymore. This will come with everything in here. So that's that. Moving on to the next couple of things that I am selling. As you can see, this says Uprev. This right here is just going to be the cable. This is the Uprev cable. So once you are tuned, you will need to buy this. I'll go ahead and let this go for $200. It works. I've tuned my car. A bunch of times when I was in a boosted a couple times as well. So this thing works, but I don't need it anymore. Again, I don't have a VQ nor will I have uprev at all. So $200 and this takes it. One of the other things that I have that I can't show you because if I show you somebody could literally just steal this serial number, but I have an uprev license for sale. I bought it because originally when I got this car, I bought another ECU from a guy who was already tuned. He told me it crashed his car. So he was like parting out everything. I was like, yo, would you sell your ECU? that's already tuned you know he said yeah bought it from him got retuned by admin so i've had another ecu in this car for a long time with that being said i had a light on my dash because of that so i had my factory ecu and i was planning to swap that back in and basically flash that ecu and have admin just tune that one just so that light went off but i just never got around to it so with that being said i had bought an extra uprev license and I never used it. I believe they're about 300 new, I wanna say, like a reflash license. So I'll do half of that, which is 150. This one might be a little bit more difficult to get rid of just because it is on my personal laptop. Uh, it will have to be somebody like locally. So LA, San Diego, somewhere around there. Let me know, you know, DM me or comment on the bottom of this video and just let me know if you are interested. Like I said, we could potentially meet, something like that. And I will go ahead and get you squared away as far as like all the uprev stuff. So that's gonna be the software. Again, I do have the cable as well with that go ahead and do 200 for that and then this one is just the dongle i'm gonna sell that for 200 that's gonna be all of the software stuff so let's get into more of like the mechanical functions of everything
All right, so more on the mechanical side of things. Don't mind that I have two sets of exhaust headers right here. Just kind of imagine that one is not here. For the turbo kit I was running on this car, I needed to run a newer style header on the passenger side. So these are from a 2014 370 and up. So these are actually gonna be shipped out to the new owner. So just kind of don't even mind that. On the other hand, I do have my original header. So this is a 2012 Nismo 370Z exhaust header. There's no difference between the Nismos or the non-Nismos. Just so you know, I didn't know if you knew that or not but just thought I'd throw that in there. I will be selling those. I'm not really sure what they go for, but just throw me a price as far as those. I do have an extra set of throttle bodies. So if your guys' idol is acting all stupid, whatever it is, let me know. I am trying to get rid of those. I do have the alternator as well. This is a factory Nissan alternator. Never had any issues as far as like starting this car or anything like that. So I know it's a good alternator. This needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Same thing for the power steering. Always had power steering on this car. I just won't be using it for the next setup. So this is for sale as well as the AC compressor. The AC compressor is working. I just didn't have any Freon in it when I had my turbo kit in it. So that's why I didn't have AC once I put the turbo kit in it. But before then it worked flawlessly and it still does. Uh, so let me know all this stuff is for sale as a loud chrysler goes by that's a new one but um yeah so all that stuff is for sale with the factory air boxes so i know some people you know like to sell their z's and put it back to stock whatever so i do have all of that stuff here i do have everything that came with it also another set of throttle bodies but um yeah so let me know if you need any of this stuff right here but yeah with all that being said let me know if you need any of this stuff i know more so a lot of this stuff down here is just stock parts but again i don't need it for what i'm doing for my next swap so let me know in the comment section below just to give you guys a small recap if you don't remember i did end up getting some new lenses new insides and an etched you know little projector type lens thing in here so this is looking super sick it's just dusty as i don't know what just because it's been sitting here so i do have that but on the other hand i also have the factory headlight housings that I took apart. Probably more or less the actual lens might not be the best to reuse. I mean, you guys can kind of see that the lens is just a little nasty. There's a lot of cracks and stuff like that. So I probably wouldn't really recommend using these unless you want to clean them up and try to use them. But I did paint these. So as you guys know, a lot of 370s come with chrome headlights. So about three or four years ago, I took apart my headlights and I painted them. They still look great. And you can do whatever you want to do as far as like this little housing right here, you know, make it red like everybody else or do whatever you want to do. But yeah, so I did paint these and these are in really good condition. I'm not trying to get top dollar for any of this stuff right here. But I mean, if you guys do want it and I want to do like a little DIY project to your car, definitely let me know. They're just sitting here collecting dust. And I do have, which I forgot I had, some Nismo covers. This thing literally looks like brand new because when I had the turbo kit, I didn't run this at all. So... This will be for sale as well. On the flip side of stuff, I will be keeping my core support and my radiator to see if I can make it work with my next swap as of now. But as far as the harness goes, this is a brand new harness. I bought this harness, I don't know if you guys remember, but I had burned the hardest when I put my turbo kit on the first time. And I had stuff a little bit too close as far as like, you know, where the exhaust piping and transmission are. And it got burned, which I will show you guys actually over here. So here's gonna be the old clutch as well as the old harness in here and this is the one that is completely screwed up so this one is outside but on the flip side of stuff i do have the other one over here if you guys are interested in this this is a brand new harness i probably has i don't even know like 200 miles on it everything is in complete tact i don't really know what these are going for i think when i bought it i paid about 650 to 700 or so but i mean i'd let it go for a little bit less than that drive shaft is going to be staying with me as well but other than that i think that pretty much sums up everything that i had for sale i don't want to bore you guys too much in this video but i did want to list some of the stuff that i have for sale before I actually list it on like Facebook marketplace and fun fact bro the turbo kit and the VHR I never listed anywhere people actually hit me up from the video so really shout out to you guys man you guys are killing it as far as like watching the videos or even just like pushing out a lot of my stuff that you see so I really do appreciate that definitely doesn't go unnoticed with that being said I think I'm in today's video I know a lot of people are probably wondering what the compression was on my VHR and maybe thinking I sold it because it was low compression so here are a couple of videos that me and my homies took of compression testing all of the cylinders before I shipped it out so I hope you guys did enjoy today's video like comment subscribe stay tuned for more content all right bro so this is cylinder one